Hey guys, where are you? David DeFranco here from daviddefranco.com slash Patreon. Thought I saw a bird, but it's a squirrel. Anyway, if you're interested in becoming a patron, links right below. So, due to popular demand, I am finally going to do a tour video of this. It's actually kind of crazy. This is my gamer and geek shelf, I call it. Not everything is completely relevant to my interests. Like, for instance, I'm not a huge fan of, okay, Game of Thrones. Like, this little guy, I don't know who he is. I kind of know what happens to him, because I read Mashable and people freaked out at him. But most of these things do relate to me. You know what? Let's just get into the tour. Enjoy. So let's start out from the top right. This is my beautiful late 2013 Mac Pro, which is only made possible by my amazingly supportive community. So guys, thank you again. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag stuff over there. Again, Game of Thrones, don't know his name. Darth Vader, got some Star Wars stuff scattered throughout. I mean, I'm not a huge Star Wars geek or anything like that, but I do appreciate the series for what it is. Got some random little minifigures, uh, Transformers and stuff like that. Um, some hex bugs. This new one I just got from Loot Crate from the Transform Crate. That was the month for June, which is pretty sweet. Transformers lights. I don't really have them plugged in, but I think they look good as an art piece. There's Stan up there. He actually plays music because he's got a headphones connection. 3.5 millimeter. There you go right there. It just happens to be his butthole, but I'm sure that was done on purpose. I don't know. A Mountain Dew glass bottle. A Hershey's chocolate bar that I made, well, the label anyway, in Manhattan, New York City, Christmas 2009. That's something I will always keep and never eat. Aperture wristband, because I am a huge fan of Portal. I, guys, seriously, I love the series Portal. It's just, it's just awesome. And I really wish we would get some more games from Valve, but they're not the quickest studio, as you know. Or a development studio, whatever you want to call them. Here is a Joker... Flash drive, yes, yeah, so this is this is actually a flash drive. I believe it's Memobot. Where is it? Right there. Let me see. Memobot, yep, that is correct. And some other little figurines I don't really care too much about. But the Iron Man one I do, and I believe he's a pen. If you pop that off, I think he turns into a pen. I don't really use him as a pen, he just kind of chills there for decoration. Well, my PlayStation 4 box, um, PlayStation Vita box. A lot of PlayStation stuff, which is sweet, because... You know what, let me just cut right there, because I really gotta stress this. I wasn't a big fan of the PS3, I wasn't, uh, just, I don't know. I didn't really think Sony took it in the best direction they could have taken, like Microsoft did with the Xbox 360. But nowadays, I am absolutely loving my PS4 and my PS Vita. I mean, I've essentially done like a giant 180 on Sony, so they're just doing a phenomenal job, and I give them props for that. Okay, back to the tour. We do have some 8-bit sunglasses right there that I got from Loot Crate a while ago. I'll probably be wearing them in Seaside or my orange ones, which are right over there. Space Invaders, I believe candy's in here. Or used to be. Yeah, yeah, there's candy in there. A little E.T. Look at him go. I love E.T. What a great movie. That is one movie they better never, ever remake. I swear to God, it's up there with Back to the Future. If you touch those two series, just please don't. A calendar for my great friend Crazy Curls from Indiana, so thank you so much, Aaron. It's always on December because my birthday is in December, so I figured why not keep it there. That way I don't have to change it every single month. A bunch of uh, Lego minifigs ranging from a hippie dude cheerleader to that's me, the geek, although he's using Windows. You can tell from the C drive, uh, but I'm primarily a Mac user nowadays. But overall, cool stuff. An official Apple mug from my friend Melanie, so thank you so much Melanie. A Transformers figure. This is from Tron, I love Tron. Uh, that's the limited edition of Splinter Cell. Blacklist, was it called? Yeah, Blacklist. Very cool that I got sent from a viewer, so thank you. Shout out to you. I'm spacing on your name right now, I'm sorry. But thank you very much. Um, Halloween Horror Nights glass from my good friend Alfred. One of these little rabbits, they just like to dress up, so he's just there, I don't know. <laughs> Zombie from The Walking Dead, more 8-bit sunglasses this time in orange. Two erasers, Batman and the Joker, I love these things, they just feel awesome and the quality is pretty great. An Xbox One box, very cool. Sheets, and my first Sheets K-Cup ever, 
as well as my first sheets K-Cup box ever, so I kind of kept them. Yes, I am a Wawa freak, but I do love sheets, and I really appreciate everything they are currently offering. I mean, their their, their, their uh, food is actually really freaking good. More rabbits. I do I do like rabbits, as you can see, and plus, most of them came from Loot Crate. Um, all my Animal Crossing characters, I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing, and I cannot wait until it comes out for the Wii U, because in my opinion, that's what the Wii U is kind of for. I mean, with the touch screen and the HD graphics and the online connectivity with multiplayer and possibly video chat using the gamepad's built-in camera, I think Animal Crossing on the Wii U could just be perfect. I mean, I don't really believe in perfection, but I'm going to say perfect anyway. Uh, Mario, Pikachu, my Wii U box, my Power Up Energy Drink can that I got from Luke Red a while ago, several Mario figurines. This one keeps falling. I'll fix that later. Zelda, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong. Uh, one of those question mark blocks from Mario, love it. And Mario Chapstick and a um, Triforce Shield from Zelda with mints inside. I don't really eat the mints, most of this is just for decoration. And there is my Loot Crate card. Okay, that's gonna fall, I'll fix that later. Now this is my Wawa Shrine. For those not aware, Wawa is a convenience store that is primarily on the East Coast. Well. Only on the East Coast, I should say. I was going to say primarily Northeast, but they have in recent years opened up at least a few locations in Florida, which is awesome, and it just works out because I have several friends down in Florida, so I hope they're enjoying it as much as I am. This actually isn't complete. I think I have two more um, travel cups like this with the Wawa logo on it. I think another one is red, maybe, and another one is black. So that's currently incomplete, but you get the idea. There's a Wawa truck, another Wawa truck from Christmas. That's kind of like a Christmas special edition. Actually, I just noticed, I just noticed this now, 2013 edition. So I hope they have a different one for 2014 this year coming up for Christmas. My first Wawa K-Cup ever. Well, they call them single serve cups because of trademark reasons, but isn't that cool? My first Wawa Cup K-Cup ever, and I will never, ever open it because that's just how I am. And more Wawa stuff. This is the Wawa Waybook from former CEO Howard Stokel. I believe that's how you say it. I believe he was a former CEO. And this will be my summer reading for Seaside Heights. Actually, I'm in Seaside while you're watching this video, so expect an awesome Seaside Heights series as usual because I know you guys really appreciate that. And I really appreciate your support. So Wawa is a Canada goose, not Canadian goose, Canada goose. So in case you're ever wondering what a Wawa is, yep, there he is. There's the bird, and there's Mr. Wawa himself. And a big cup for soda or whatever. I don't think I'm ever really going to use it. It's just there for decoration. And another travel cup. It really is amazing how much I can talk about Wawa. I love him that much. All right. Come on, guys. Let's keep going. Noisy floor today. This little section is mostly financial stuff, tax papers, any checks I get in the mail, and some supplies, as well as a Mophie case for my iPhone 5S that I recently got from David Banther, so David, thank you so much for that. And a knife that I just happened to get from David Banther, and I still cannot close it. I was trying everything, I watched some videos on YouTube, the one guy who did it kind of just did this, and it closed, so... David, I'm sure you'll be emailing me or texting me instructions by the time you see this video. But anyway, um, but it is it is a cool knife. I'm by no means a knife expert, but I do appreciate knives for uh, what they are, and I think they're pretty cool. There's Pam's painting from the office. There's a Schrute book, which keeps falling off the wall. My wall is an old-fashioned wall, so it doesn't really hold tape all that well. Uh, my Luigi, Yoshi, and Bowser bobbleheads. Mario died years ago. Gusmoki literally decapitated him and I haven't gotten a new one since but that's okay this this can is a shout out to my longtime viewers since 2006 as promised check it out guys I still have not opened it and I will not open it until the day I'm dying or the week I'm dying basically if I'm dying I will open this and I'll put it on camera for you by then I'm sure we'll have like iPhone 32 or whatever it's gonna be and a lot of bracelets slash wristbands, whatever you want to call them. I won all of these Angry Birds bracelets from Seaside. I'm not sure about that one. That's an Intel Sponsors of Tomorrow wristband. I believe I got that from a viewer. This is from Luke Crate, TechSocial.com. I no longer own that. I sold it um, a while ago. GearPop.com, Mountain Dew, and Modern Warfare 3. 
as well as an Angry Birds Piggity Pig. Now this, just like my Wawa Shrine, I have a dedicated section for another love of my life, and that is Apple. This is what I call my eye shrine. I have all of my iPhone boxes collected throughout the years. Well, not only my iPhone boxes, I should say, some of them do come from family, so that definitely helps. Here is my original iPhone from 2007. Look at that beauty. That's back when it actually came with a dock. God, I miss those days. But then again, I really don't need a dock, so it's not, I guess, I mean, I guess it's not a huge deal. Uh, iPod shuffles, here's the gum stick model, some people call it. I don't know if I got this one. No, I didn't get this one engraved. This one, I believe I got engraved with I, David. Check it out. These are my OS 10 cats. I kind of fell off with that. I got lazy with it over time, but I will eventually complete that. And especially since Apple's no longer using cats in their um, OS 10 names, it's kind of easier to catch up, and then I can just finally wrap that up. iPod socks, which I got from the Apple Store in Soho, New York City. I will never forget um, these. These were actually a gift from my dad, and we couldn't believe when we, when I, we brought it up to the register that I think they were like twenty nine dollars. And that's when we were new. iPhones are falling. That's when we were new to Apple, and we didn't know how expensive their basic accessories were. Dear Lord, my poor iPhone 3GS. Well, there you go. Doesn't matter. It still works just fine. Here's my iSight camera. Classic right there to my fellow Mac users. Third generation iPod, fifth generation iPod. Here's the iPod Nano Fatty. Actually, this this is the red um, product, red. So I think, what, 10% of it went to AIDS proceeds? Uh, the whole Bono thing, which is pretty cool. Here is the newest iPod Nano. I don't use it, but I am a huge fan of this form factor. It's basically an iPod Touch, but a lot smaller. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking. I need water. It's hot in here. I shut my air off just for the purpose of this video. Uh, my other iPod Nano, this one's definitely engraved right there. Yep, techsocial.com. That's kind of what like the iWatch is going to be in terms of form factor. So take a good, long, hard look at that. That's basically what you can expect. And this is the newest iPod Shuffle. As you can see, they got smaller and smaller over the years. And at least in terms of that form factor. This was kind of ridiculous. You had to use the Apple voiceover to play your music and navigate. It was kind of annoying. And that's why I don't think I've even ever used it once. Maybe twice. Not totally sure. And my Steve Jobs little cutout thing. Yes, his head does come off. I didn't really secure it right. But that's okay. It works. And last but not least, my iPad mini with Retina box. Oh, and by the way, this isn't iShrine related, but it just sits there all year. This is my Tix clock, which I believe they no longer sell, so it's kind of rare. Okay, insert a cut here, because I need to take a break. I'm talking a lot. Let's just look outside for a minute, shall we? Let's appreciate nature. There's that baby squirrel. I swear that baby squirrel is awesome. Okay, let's go. Now this section used to be entirely dedicated to my camera lenses and camera boxes, but I was telling myself, David, do you really need the boxes out for your lenses? And well, because I talked to myself, I answered saying, David, no you do not, but why not just keep your Canon Rebel EOS Rebel, wow, that was redundant, Canon EOS Rebel T4i box out, of which I did with the kit lens which is on my T4i by default, but it came with the kit lens. This is my 75 to 300 millimeter telephoto lens without image stabilization, so it's not that great of a lens. But then again, I did get it for $99 instead of usual $200. I think I got that on Woot.com or one of those deal sites. It took forever to come, but I guess it's worth it because I saved 100 bucks. This is the Nifty 50, definitely a great lens. And my pancake lens is not here, which means it's probably in my camera bag, so I'll find that after this video. This is a little light prism I bought. It was like $4 on Amazon, I don't know. Um, I basically bought it to experiment with photography and maybe video one day. Unfortunately, I never really got around to actually taking pictures. But as you can see, the light, it actually creates some interesting effects. And I think I found out about that on Petapixel. Com, which is a great site for photographers and I enjoy it very much. Here is my Furby 2.0 with a couple dog tags on him just chilling. He should be alive. Oh my god, he has not woken up in months. 
and he awakens. Oh, he's mad. Damn. Huh? Do? Do yourself. Minecraft Lego. I'm not a huge Minecraft fan. Um, I mean, meaning that I don't play it on a regular basis like other people do. But I really do enjoy Minecraft's style and the community behind it is really cool. And it's just amazing how it kind of blew up overnight into this huge phenomenon. And it just is really cool. Alright, Furby. Go to sleep. I'm suffocating him. Huh? Huh? Dunder Mifflin Ball? I love me some Dunder Mifflin. Also known as The Office. Chronome Ball. It's a sport. Look it up. Chronome.com. This is an Angry Birds flash drive. I love this because if I have to, I mean, if I ever have to hide some sensitive data, then I can. Because look, it doesn't even look like a flash drive. But it is. And only you guys know that. So for whatever reason, you know, they come after me. They meaning, I don't know. I'm just talking out of my butt, but there you go. And an Angry Birds pig ball, which is pretty cool. Furby, calm down. Relax. Life is good. Relax. You have it easy. You're just chilling on that shelf all day. And last but not least, the final part of my shelf is just a bunch of random stuff. My Rubik's Cube, which I still have not solved. I refuse to look up the algorithm, but I promise myself once I do solve it myself, then I'll look up the algorithm and practice over and over again and try to uh, complete it in under a minute. Um, Iron Man bobblehead, Spider-Man lunchbox filled with a bunch of random stuff from Loot Crate over the months. Basically like stickers that I don't need out here and coupons and stuff like that. A bottle opener from Zelda. Look at this, classic line. Sorry, it's upside down. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And this is a keychain, actually. I mean, I don't drink that often. So it kind of just stays in here. But there you go. Yoda bobblehead. A Star Wars galactic phrase book and travel guide. This is from my friends Chris and Tiff's wedding. So I kind of kept that as a souvenir. And the zombie survival guide. Yes, this is an entire book. Author Max Brooks, author of World War Z. He actually wrote an entire survival guide if there's ever a zombie apocalypse. And now, this is not a joke. This is a real book. Because, hey, you never know. Zombies could take over the world one day. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it will never happen. Don't forget that. Furby, chill. Go to sleep. And that is that. As usual, I'm sure I missed something. I have so much stuff on this shelf, but I am incredibly thankful for all the collectibles I have, well, collected over the years. Um, thanks to you guys, my supporters, and thanks to myself, and thanks to Loot Crate. This is kind of, in a way, a giant community shelf, and it's constantly changing and evolving. For instance, this shelf could be different by the time August comes around. That's what's great about the shelf. I'm always maturing it over time. So guys, there you go. Um, I mean, if you have any questions or comments regarding the shelf, let me know in the comments below. And as always, your support is much appreciated. I'm going to have to go shut this furby up. So thank you guys, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.